our first story is titled, Am I the a-hole for making my girlfriend wear white to a wedding? My best friend and I are the type to always pull pranks on each other. It's just how our friendship formed, and we always get a kick out of it. For example, he once invited me to a party and told me to wear a costume, and when I got there, it was normal attire. I laughed after the initial embarrassment, and like I said, we are comfortable enough to do that to each other. He held a wedding this past weekend. Socially distant, everyone was spread out, and it was entirely outdoors. In the weeks leading up to the wedding, I told my girlfriend to wear white as it was expected all the women would wear it. She was reluctant, but I told her that it was just a quirky thing the bride and groom were doing. So she said okay and bought a white dress. When we got to the wedding, it was standard wedding attire and my girlfriend was mortified. When my best friend saw what I had done, he was cracking up and joked, I guess you two are getting married instead of us. The bride was pissed off and made a huge deal out of it. Normally, she is really chill, so I was surprised by her anger. My friend even tried to calm her down and told her it was just clothing and it doesn't change anything. Now I feel incredibly bad by what happened. I really didn't think it was a big deal. I personally think this is being blown out of proportion, but I don't know. Now let's read the top comments. You're the a-hole. Oh my god. It wasn't just your bestie that you did this to. You also did it to your girlfriend and the poor bride. What an a-hole move. Yeah, I get that it's the kind of stuff he and his friend do. And that they both thought it was funny. But it had nothing to do with either of them. Opie set up his girlfriend to do something mean to the bride. The women were the ones who suffered. Holy crap, that edit though. I reflexively downvoted out of annoyance and had to force myself to upvote because damn, we got a live one. Edit. Opie posted, but then deleted. And edit saying, please no more women weigh in, because I feel as though you're biased on this topic. I'm flubbing the wording, but that's the gist. It's enough to make me question if this post was written by somebody trying to write a creative story in which wearing the wrong collar to a wedding, or if it's written by a genuine moron. Honestly, 50-50. You're the a-hole on multiple levels. 1. You embarrass your girlfriend by making her wear white to a wedding. You and your friend may love pranking each other, but she didn't sign up for being pranked at her expense at such a public venue. 2. You pissed off the bride by breaking one of the cardinal rules of weddings. Only bride wears white. She may be really chill most of the time, but her wedding day is probably the one day anybody would not be chill. 3. And you're the a-hole again for not realizing you screwed up and apologize to those involved. So yeah, you done messed up, eh, Aaron. You best apologize to your girlfriend and the bride quick before you're out of a friendship and relationship. You're the a-hole for every reason mentioned above. What a colossally stupid, malicious thing to do to your girlfriend and a bride. I won't blame either of them for never speaking to you again. You had better start groveling now. You're the a-hole. You better grovel and apologize to the bride and explain you tricked your girlfriend into wearing white at her wedding. Your jokes shouldn't damage your girlfriend's social life. Then you send an apology to everyone at the wedding with the same explanation. That's it for the first story. The second one is titled, Am I the a-hole for stopping my mother from attending my sister's wedding? Just to clarify, weddings are allowed in our area, but with limited numbers in social distancing. My, 34 male, sister, 29 female, has been engaged for about two years and was set to get married in April. This was obviously called off, however, they decided to have a wedding with close friends and family this month. Wedding was last weekend. My sister and I don't know our dad, so I fill in that role. Walked her down the aisle, made a speech, etc. Our mother has always been fairly dramatic and has been very on again, off again with us in our adult lives. She has sort of improved in the past few years, but still does some not great things. My sister made me promise I would keep her in check. I spent the night before the wedding with my sister in a hotel, while my wife and kids stayed with my mother, since she only lives about 20 minutes from the venue. The morning of the wedding, my wife sent me a photo of what mother was wearing. I'm sure you all saw this coming, but it was white and very similar in style to my sister's wedding dress. Wife told me she had gently encouraged that she chose another dress, but apparently this was the only nice thing she owned. I also locked her bedroom door, so wife wasn't able to find her something. This is where I might be the a-hole. Essentially, I told my wife to lie to my mother and say that we would pick her up on the way in a nicer car so that she could make a big entrance with my sister and I. She was obviously ecstatic with this news, so saw no issue when my wife and kids left without her. We never picked her up. She doesn't drive, so this meant that she missed the wedding altogether. 
We did call her just before the ceremony to see if she had come to her senses, but she didn't pick up the phone. I told my sister on the drive to the ceremony, and she wasn't at all shocked. My mother is obviously livid with the three of us, wife, sister, and I. Apparently, she assumed that this would be appropriate because the wedding was non-traditional. Anyway, it was very traditional, so I can only assume she said that because sister is a lesbian. She says that she didn't deserve to miss the whole wedding because of it, and that we should have told her earlier not to wear white. Am I the a-hole? And now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. And congratulations to your sister and to you, sir, for your quick thinking and keeping the crazy contained. Not the a-hole. Brilliant move. Agreed. What a crappy thing to do to your own daughter. I can't even. Opie created a perfectly natural consequence for the immature behavior of his mother. Job well done. Dude, did you see the one where the fiancé brought the dress over to his mother's house for her and his sister to try it on? They stretched it out and broke the zip and are refusing to pay her what the dress is owed because she obviously doesn't want to wear it now. Yeah, but I think the worst one was the OP convincing his girlfriend to wear a white dress to his friend's wedding. He and friend thought it was hilarious, but girlfriend was upset and embarrassed and the new wife was pissed. Not the a-haul. A little extreme, and you should have checked with your sister, but definitely not the bad guy here. There seems to be a trend lately of people wanting to make a statement at other people's weddings. Whether it is proposing, coming out, or wearing clothes that are inappropriate. I am not sure what is going on in people's minds these days. It is almost if the ability not to be a self-centered selfish idiot is impossible. You are being asked to be witnessed and part of a special day for two people. It is not about you, it is them. This could be a commentary on where society has been going or how we have been raising people over the last 30 years. I don't know. What I do know, it is sad. The unwritten rule for weddings was don't wear white and don't make a scene. You should have checked with your sister. Sounds like sister was read in with plenty of time to reverse course if needed. This could be a commentary on where society has been going or how we have been raising people over the last 30 years. I don't know. What I do know, it is sad. The unwritten rule for weddings was don't wear white and don't make a scene. I mean, the people raised in the last 30 years knew not to do that. It was a person raising them that was blowing that cost him off. So I don't know that it's a modern society issue. And now for the final story. Am I the a-hole for telling my sister she can F off if she thinks my marriage is problematic? Apparently, she felt this way for a while, but never told me or tried to talk about it until she blew up recently. So basically, I write software for a subsidiary of a biggish West Coast software company. Pays great, same wages they pay their West Coast employees, but in the Midwest office. So, my wife doesn't need to have a job. Instead, she volunteers roughly 16 hours a week at a local pet shelter. She's also a Brazilian immigrant. Go ahead and make the joke about the tech nerd marrying an immigrant that becomes a housewife. That's what got us into this pickle. Sis is convinced I actively sought out an immigrant, using money to coerce her to marry because she'd be more submissive, easier to control into a housewife, that won't challenge me out of fear of going destitute. In reality, my wife is one of the most strong-willed women I've met. That's part of what made me attracted to her in the first place. And I honestly don't know if housewife is even the right word to describe my wife, given she basically works part-time at the animal shelter but for free because we can't afford it. If she was getting paid due to the same volunteer work, she wouldn't be labeled as a housewife like Sis is trying to push on her now. She does do about two-thirds of the housework but she's also at home a lot more. I do the bulk of the cooking though, since frankly, I'm better at it and it benefits us both if I do more. Recently, my mom had to have surgery. Since dad already passed a few years ago, mom lives alone now. My wife decided she was going to go to mom's house every day and help out how she could and make sure she was okay. I go at least every other day after work to help too. Sis only goes to see mom on the weekends, but she does work more hours than I do so meh, she's gotta take care of herself too. A couple days ago, I got a call from Sis and she started screaming at me as soon as I answered, saying how she knew I always had problematic views on women and marriage, but she wasn't going to stay quiet any longer now that she thinks I'm using them to gain mom's favor. Going on about how she's disappointed in me, feels sorry for my wife and whatever kids we have, and how she can't believe her own brother turned into just another sexist tech bro. I told her I disagreed and felt my marriage was a fairly equal partnership, but if she was intent on ass talking it, she could F off and stay out of our lives then. I haven't heard from her since then. My mom and wife are on my side, but a few of my friends have vented to say she had a point.
So, I don't know. Am I the a-hole? Now let's read the top judgment for this post. Not the a-hole. Your sister needs to chill. If you and your wife are both happy, and you don't exhibit sexist slash chauvinistic views against her or other women, then what leg can your sister possibly be standing on? Your wife is absolutely allowed to be a housewife if she's happy that way. The fact that many women are ashamed of this shocks me. Considering true feminism is supporting women is whatever life they choose. Glad to hear your wife is able to spend time volunteering at something she loves. I'm sure the shelter appreciates her time and help, especially since that means they can spend more money on the animals in their care. Side note, not to stereotype, but a Brazilian woman being submissive? Lol, not sure that word is even in the Brazilian handbook. For real, I thought that was the Asian stereotype, not the Hispanic slash Southern American one. Unless Opie's sister thinks all foreign, non-white women are like that, in which case, that's kinda racist. It's the Asian stereotype until kids, then it becomes Tiger Mom. Not the a-hole. Who is saying she has a point, anyway? She called you screaming because your wife has been helping your mom? Does your sister have emotional issues? Your marriage sounds fine. If you and your wife agree on how you want to live your lives, everyone else can kick rocks. Armchair guess, but I think Sis is comparing her life to her brother's wife and might be jealous of her life, minus the banging her brother but doesn't have a fair way to have go about that, so now it's about her brother. Maybe sister wants to inherit all their mother's property. Underground, she needs the money more than her brother, rather than it being split equally. And she is worried that her brother's wife being friends with her mom might spoil that plan. Not the a-hole, but something about your sister assuming all immigrants who marry white guys are submissive and scared is kind of gross. It seems she has more of an overall problem with you marrying an immigrant than anything else. And those are the stories for this video, folks. As always, leave your thoughts down in the comment section and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe.